So let's look at a normal loop. Well, these aren't normal. These are abnormally distended, all of them, so it's a small bow obstruction. But if we look here at this round-looking bit of bow, you can see the mucosal aspect really, really well because of the air interface with the mucosa. But you're not seeing where the serosal aspect is, right? And you can't tell where the outside of that wall is. And that should happen for all bow when you're looking at an abdominal x-ray. But if we look at this loop here, see how you can kind of see the inner aspect, the mucosal aspect of that bowel, as well as the serosal aspect. So you're seeing a thin white line as being the wall. That is abnormal. You shouldn't be able to see both sides of a bowel wall. If you do, then there's gas on the other side. That means there's pneumoperitoneum. So this is called Riegler's sign of pneumoperitoneum. This also has a nice example of intramural gas. See that kind of black line, curvy linear, outlining a bowel loop over here, maybe black lines in the wall of the bowel here. So that's intramural gas, so gas in the bowel wall. So signs of likely ischemia and perforation 